Last night, I dreamt I went to Mandalay again. Oh, look, David, I lost my heels. I lost my heels. Look at me walk. Susan. Susan, I'm side of a hill. Susan, stop. I was born on the no. side of a hill. Susan, stop. No. Oh. You sure you don't love her? The moment I saw you downstairs, I knew. Oh, go on. I bet you say that to all your wives. Well, I could strangle you. What's this business about the forest? Mental telepathy. I can tell what they're thinking about from here. is to keep your mind a blank. With that music? Oh, Freddie, is my mind red? The calla lilies are in bloom again. Such a strange flower. Suitable to any occasion. I carried them on my wedding day, and now I place them here in memory of something that has died. There's no knife here. Yes, I put it there. Look, I don't see any knife. I put it there tonight. No, it isn't here. You must have dreamed you put it there. Are you suggesting that this is a knife I hold in my hand? Have you gone mad, my husband? Uh, what is it? Bloody, we've got to have a doctor. I don't know nothing about birthing babies. I guess it was easier for her to change her name than for her whole family to change theirs. Could you use a little water in your whiskey? Wanna drink whiskey? I drink whiskey. And wanna drink water? I drink water. I believe, I believe. It's silly, but I believe. Guess who's coming to dinner? Graham. Good idea, Ernie. A toast. <laughs> to my big brother George, the richest man in town. <laughs> you look like the last grave over near the willow. Are you worried about something? Should I be? Of course you should. Falling in love with a girl in the middle of an ocean. You see, Hopsy, you don't know very much about girls. The best ones aren't as good as you probably think they are, and the bad ones aren't as bad. Not nearly as bad. And by the way, there's a name for you ladies, but it isn't used in high society, outside of a kennel. So long, ladies. You knew when you came in that the audition was over, that Eve was your understudy, playing that childish little game of cat and mouse. Not mouse, never mouse. If anything, rat. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Oh, but it's made of silver. I think that'll... What's a peninsula? Ish. Oh, give me that shush. You think you're so smart, huh? What's a peninsula? It's not you, her. It's that new medicine. It is not. What then? It's a body of land surrounded on three sides by water. So what's that to know? So what's that champagne to know? There's some difference between... Champagne, not champagne. Champagne practically started this whole country. You're only afraid I'm running away with the sea. I afraid? Why should I be? No, of course not. You're the greatest actor in the world. Everybody knows that, including you. Don't be a prima donna. Whenever there's a chance to take the spotlight away from me, it's becoming ridiculous the way you grab attention. Whenever I start to tell a story, you finish it. If I go on a diet, you lose the weight. If I have a cold, you cough. And if we should ever have a baby, I'm not so sure I'd be the mother. I'm satisfied to be the father. Her husband is that great, great Polish actor, Joseph Tura. You've probably heard of him. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, I saw him on the stage when I was in Warsaw once before the war. Really? <laughs> what he did to Shakespeare, we are doing now to Poland. Hmm. It's good. It's enough. We do not have to go to the bank. Gee. Either I'm dead right or I'm crazy. You wouldn't care to put that to a vote, would you, Senator? <laughs> he regret it to his dying day. If ever he lives that long. I love him. She loves him. Yes, I love him. I love those hick shirts he wears with the boiled cuffs and the way he always has his vest button wrong. Looks like a giraffe, and I love him. I love him because he's the kind of a guy that gets drunk on a glass of buttermilk. And I love the way he blushes right up over his ears. I love him because he doesn't know how to kiss. A jerk. Did you hear what I said, Miss Kublik? I absolutely adore you. Shut up and deal. Goodbye, Mrs. Kathy. 
Goodbye, Mr. Chips. And where are we? Where are we? Now, let me see. Where are we? Ah, here we are. There you are, and here am I. Feel it? I'm interested only in the shortest distance between these two points. Must you flirt? Well, I don't have to, but I find it natural. Suppress it. I'll try. I want you to hold me. Oh, hold me closer. 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 I'll hold you any closer, I'll be in back of you. Oh, by the way, how was my funeral? Oh, lovely. Dr. Blake preached a wonderful sermon. Oh, I wish I'd been there. Look, Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. That's right. I'll be all around in the dark. I'll be everywhere, wherever you can look. Wherever there's a fight so hungry people can eat, I'll be there. Why, you speak treason. Fluently. What is it you want, Mary? What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll give you the moon, Mary. I'll take it. Oh, I beg your pardon, but I've never heard of a beautiful witch before. Only bad witches are ugly. Hilda, are you decent? Me? Sure, I'm decent. You remember Ann Lowell? Not any time Annie. Say, who could forget her? She only said no once, and then she didn't hear the question. And I'm getting out, too. Don't let him tramp you! Yeah, I'm a tramp, and who's to blame? My father. A swell start you gave me. Ever since I was 14, what's it been? Nothing but men. Dirty, rotten men. And you're lower than any of them. I'll hate you as long as I live. You're tearing me apart. What? You, you say one thing, he says another, and everybody changes back again. Personally, Vita's convinced me that alligators have the right idea. They eat their young. It's all right. That, that's in every contract. That's, that's what they call a sanity clause. <laughs> you can't fool me. There ain't no sanity clause. Now, it isn't that I don't like you, Susan, because, after all, in moments of quiet, I'm strangely drawn toward you, but, well, there haven't been any quiet moments. <laughs> My father used to say, it's a funny thing, but the things we like best are either illegal, immoral, or fattening. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you drank like a fish. The way they do. Because I wouldn't give you two cents for all your fancy rules if behind them they didn't have a little bit of plain, ordinary, everyday kindness. And a, a little looking out for the other fella, too. I need him like the axe needs the turkey. Didn't you hear about me, Gabe? If I'd been a ranch, they would have named me the bar nothing. You want a leg or a breast? You make the choice. Aren't you going to give me a little credit? What for? Well, I've proved once and for all that the limb is mightier than the thumb. Why don't you take off all your clothes? You're going to stop 40 cars. Well, oh, I'll remember that, but we need 40 cars. I was reading a book the other day. Reading a book? Yes, it's all about civilization or something. A nutty kind of a book. Uh, Do you know that the guy says that machinery is going to take the place of every profession? Oh, my dear. That's something you need never worry about. 